This is the prolific teaching ministry of Apostle Tulua Gola, the lead pastor of His Worship Christian Network. Raise yourself an experience of enlightenment, education, and transformation as you engage with this episode. Beloved brothers and sisters, fellow heirs of the Commonwealth of Heaven, the few words that I feel led by the Spirit to bring to you today come out of a heart that is burdened as to our ability to be able to receive that which God is doing in this season. The year 2024 is just beginning and it's starting on a very massive note. It's been called a year of many things. Blessedness, warfare in some places, victory. We have been promised expressions of favor, expressions of the mercy of God. In other places, it's been enlargement of the possibilities of a flight. Great as all those things are, there is an activity of God that is currently beginning to find expression and we must gain mastery of the wisdom that is required to appropriate what God is doing so that we do not miss the season. An era of ministerial expression has come as prophesied by God's servants globally and this era is to be heralded by a release from heaven which I believe in my musing with the Holy Spirit will be expressed as two realities. First is the reality of the wind. Second will be the reality of light. Now these two words that I just brought to you are supposed to express as metaphors so that those who are interested will take out time to carefully study the mode of functionality of both the wind and the light. The assignment of both will be the same. It will be to unseal the things that have been sealed. When these things begin to happen, there is a wrong posture that we can take. And it is to think that we have been given the privilege to run commentaries alongside what God is doing. I believe in my communications with the Holy Spirit that it is a time to internalize lessons and self-evaluate, not a time to speak so much. Wisdom, the Bible says, is justified by her children. It means that our claims to wisdom cannot be fully expressed in the eloquency or with the eloquency with which we speak. Wisdom actually gives off in what it produces, a posture of existence, a mode of activity. So much is being said and we are losing out on what God is doing. The wind and the lights that have been gifted as realities to bring about exposures, to stir up the things that have been hidden, to convict some in the openly, are actually tools not of, not in an attempt rather by God to just smear men, but to give men for the sake of other men. God wants to purge his church. The lamp is intent upon fully repossessing his people. And so there will be things that will begin to hear. The year is starting absolutely faster than we all thought it was going to be. But I need to announce to you that so much more will be brought to light this year. All of us, especially those who have been given thrones in God, must understand that our thrones in this year of many battles have been apportioned stones, utterances, choice words. My admonition from the Lord is that you must understand that God does not give an endless number of stones to throned men. I draw my inspiration from David in the day of his contention against the nation of the Philistines. Five stones, one for a lifetime of 
active warfare four for a season of weariness five giants five stones in the bid to be relevant there is a possibility that we are quick to speak and we are slow to listen the order is to be quick to hear but very slow to speak when god begins to judge he really does not require the utterances of men to validate his activity let me close with these lines from scripture as regards the church in nigeria and africa the lord has descended and it comes in the similitude of a purifier of gold and of silver. The assignment is not just to expose, but it is to purify the sons of Levi that they might begin to offer unto the Lord sacrifices in righteousness. It's not about the men, and it will not be about the men. It will be about us. So why will we engage ourselves in all the banter that currently surrounds the current of villains and the many more that will come in scary fashion in the months ahead. Can you stop and ponder? Can you look deeper into the models that you are beginning to build? What will happen to your models in 10 years, in five years? Could you be struggling to exalt something that God has walked away from or something that irritates the Lord? A season of exposure is ahead and until his floor is fully purged, he will come with a fan in his hand and he will purge his floor until what remains is that which brings him pleasure. Be careful to hear. Be more careful to speak. May God give you and all of us understanding in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Thank you for listening. If you have been blessed by this episode, please subscribe, like, and share this podcast with everyone in quest for truth and transformation. Be blessed.